Hi friends, I'm Parways and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can use ChatGPT uh, API or we can say OpenAI API with Python programming language. So now the first thing is that you need to install OpenAI and you can just use pep uh, install and we can just say OpenAI, uh, okay? And uh, let's just wait, it will install uh, the library for us and after that we can just use the OpenAI functionality in Python programming language. Now you can see that uh, uh, it's installing. Okay, so now that is installed. And uh, after that, uh, now we have the open AI. Uh, I already have created a Python file and uh, PyCharm ID. Now the first thing is that we need to import open AI. So op import open AI. And after that, we need to use the API key provided by OpenAI to authenticate our API requests. Now for that, you need to just go to the OpenAI website and from there you need to just create an account. And from the API section, you can just easily generate your API key and you can just copy that. Okay. So in here, I can just say OpenAI. Uh, after that, I can just say dot API key. And in here, you need to add your API key. I will add my API key right now. I'm not going to add, but I will add that. Okay. So after adding the uh, your API key and after getting the API key, now we need to define the prompt and uh, uh, the prompt that we want to generate text for that. So for example, in here I can just say uh, prompt and I can just say, for example, what is, for example, I can just say what is Django, okay? And after doing that, we need to just use the completion endpoint to generate a response to the prompt, okay? And in here I can just say response or open AI dot and I can just use dot completion dot create okay so dot create and in here we need to pass some parameters now the first one is the engine uh, you need to specify that which which engine up uh, you want to just use and in here I want to just use this engine and after that we need to add the prompt in here so I can just say uh, prompt and that is our prompt variable that we have our question or text. Uh, after doing that, we need to specify the max tokens. Okay, so I can just say max uh, tokens. And for the max tokens, I can just say 1024. Okay, now max tokens, it's the maximum number of tokens to generate in the completion. And uh, uh, after giving the max token, we need to just give the n. Okay, so it is an integer value, and this is optional, and the default is to one. Uh, now it is uh, it means that how many completions to generate for each prompt, and you need to just take a note that uh, because this parameter generates many completions, it can quickly consume your token quota. Uh, so uh, use carefully and ensure that you have reasonable settings for max tokens and stop. Okay. So when you're creating an API key in OpenAI, you have a maximum uh, quota that you can use. Uh, so now for this, uh, uh, I want to just use it one. And after that, we need to just give the stop in here. And I can just give none to that. And also we need to just add a comment here. Okay. So now we have a stop and uh, we have given none in here. Now it's string or array and uh, uh, it, it's also optional and default is to null or none. Uh, uh, it's up to four sequences where the API will stop generating further tokens. Now the return text will not contain the stop sequences. And after giving the token, uh, we need to just give the temperature. So in here I can just say temperature and I can just give it 0 0.5 now uh, so in here uh, we have the uh, temperature and uh, it's a number it's also optional and default is to one uh, it is it means that what sampling temperature to use okay higher values means the model will take more risks uh, 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 according to the OpenAI documentation they are saying that try 0 0.9 for more creative applications and zero org max sampling for once with a well-defined answer. And it's telling that we generally recommend altering this or top up, but not bot, okay? So after giving these uh, information to the uh, completion, uh, now what we need to do, we need to just extract the generated text from that response, okay? And then here I can just say generated, so generated text, 
and uh, I can just use the response that we have our response in here and I can just say choices and uh, zero and the text itself okay so in here we are going to just extract uh, extract the text the generated text from the response that uh, we have in here okay uh, so after doing that now we can just simply print the generated text okay so print and we want to just print the generated text okay so now let me just run this but before that I need to just add my API key now let me just pause the video and add my API key so now I have added my API key and now let me just run this now you need to just go to the open AI uh, website and after that you can just get your API key you can just create uh, an account and after that in the API section you can generate, generate your API key so let me just click on this and from here let's check that what we are going to receive from this So you can see that Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design. So if I change this, for example, what is Python? So Python, and let me just run this again. So I don't want to show you my API key by this reason. Okay, so now let's just wait. Okay, so Python is a high-level interpreted general purpose programming language created on December 3 by this person with a design. So you can see that. Uh, we have used the OpenAI uh, library and we can just uh, get the text from the OpenAI and from the chat GPT. So you can see that we have, we can add our question. Uh, so for example, what is Java like this? And if I just run this and you will see that we have the information about that. Okay, so Java is a programming language that is used to create a variety of applications that run on a Java platform. So thank you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video. Also, if you want the source code, you can just check the video description and you can just get the source code.